Welcome back to Solutions for Financial Independence. Joining me now is John Halterman of Beacon Wealth Management. John, how are you today? I am fabulous, Kyle. How about you? Fantastic. It's a good day. Today we have a question from Tommy from Lost Creek. He wants to know which is better, a 401k or a Roth IRA? <laughs> hey, Tommy, the one thing I always say is you got to roll with the free money. And what I mean about that is that if your employer is matching you uh, on contributions and they're giving you free money, the first thing you absolutely have to do is you got to take the employer match. So simply, if they're giving you, let's say, up to 6%, whether it's dollar for dollar or even a percentage, you got to make sure you put in at least 6% yourself. That way you can get all the free money first. Everyone wants free money, but what do you do after the free money? Well, after the free money, the matching money, the next thing you got to really be thinking about is tax benefits. You know, the second thing on the Roth is that the Roth IRA is 100% tax free after the age of 59 and a half, but you get no tax deduction up front. And so what you got to consider is what's more important, putting money in on a pre-tax basis where you get a tax deduction now or an after-tax basis where you get tax-free down the road. My personal opinion is that if you're making less than $100,000 as a single person or less than $200,000 as a family, you definitely got to consider the tax-free money. Because like free money from your employer, I love the free money, and both of those are free money to me. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you Thank for that you. information. If you miss any of that, head over to WDTV.com and don't go anywhere. Much more news after the break.